video lesson, we're going to learn how to do the oxidase test using a Taxol N or oxidase disc. The oxidase test tests for a bacterial enzyme called cytochrome C oxidase and has a number of important uses. It can be used to help identify the genus Neisseria. In fact, the N on the N disc refers to Neisseria. Uh, this includes Neisseria gonorrhea that causes gonorrhea and Neisseria meningitis that causes meningococcal meningitis. Another important use of the oxidase test is to help differentiate glucose non-fermenting gram-negative bacilli, such as Pseudomonas, most of which are oxidase positive, and glucose fermenting gram-negative bacilli, such as the bacterial family Enterobacteriaceae. With one exception, the Enterobacteriaceae are oxidase negative. We're going to learn how to do both the immediate and the delayed oxidase test using the Taxo N disc. To perform the oxidase test, we place some forceps in alcohol. We catch the alcohol on fire with a lighter and let the alcohol burn off. And then we're going to use that to remove a Taxo N or oxidase disc from the vial. Now we don't have to keep the disc sterile, but we don't want to be contaminating the discs after we put the disc on the plate, so uh, we try to get a disc out. And once the disc is out, we can actually manipulate a little bit to get a good grip on it because we're, go we're going to have to uh, moisten the disc with water to activate it. So here's the end disc. We have some distilled water and we're going to put a drop or two of water on the disc to activate it. And then we're going to put the disc on our plate of the bacterium that we're testing. Now we take a sterile swab and we're going to scrape off some bacteria and we're going to smear that on the disc. We'll kind of dab it onto the disc and we're going to be looking for pretty much an immediate crimson color within about 10 seconds. Now I'm going to remove the lid so you can see what I'm doing without uh, worrying about the lights reflecting off of the lid here. So we scrape off some bacteria and we start dabbing that onto our disc. And you can see that it's starting to turn an immediate crimson color. We see it both on the swab and we see it on the disc. So that is a positive immediate oxidase test. And it's called an immediate oxidase test because we see the results almost immediately. Now in about a minute, that's going to turn more purple and eventually black, and then it has no significance. So the crimson color is what we're looking for, but that disappears rather quickly. So that is an oxidase positive reaction. In this case, the bacterium is Pseudomonas. And when we're done with the swabs, they go in the biohazard container. Now we're going to run the oxidase test on an oxidase negative bacterium in this case, Enterobacter orogenes. So again, we dip the forceps in alcohol. We ignite the alcohol, let that burn off. And then we remove a Taxo N or oxidase disc from the vial. Now, once we have the disc out, we do have to moisten it, so it's okay to touch it and to use the forceps to grab the tip of the disc like that so we can get a drop of water on to activate the disc. So now we activate the disc by adding a drop of water and we're ready to place that on the Petri plate. Now we're going to take a sterile swab and we're going to scrape off bacteria and smear that on the disc. Now once again I'm going to take the lid off so you can see what I'm doing without the reflection from the lights on the lid of the petri plate. So we scrape off some bacteria and we start dabbing that on the disc. And you'll notice that there's no color change on the swab. There's no color change on the disc. 
and that is an oxidase negative test. Again, if it was oxidase positive, it would turn a crimson color within about 15 seconds. And of course, when finished, the U swabs go in the biohazard container. An alternate version of the oxidase test done with the Taxo N disc is called the delayed oxidase test. So named because this can take up to a half an hour or more to turn, as opposed to the immediate test that gives you a color change within 15 seconds. Now in the case of the delayed test, we again would moisten a disc with water put it on the plate of the organism we're testing, and then we simply let it sit uh, for maybe half an hour to an hour. And if the bacterium is oxidase positive, like this Pseudomonas, you'll notice that the growth around the disc turns black. Not the disc turning black, but the growth around the disc turns black, an obvious black halo around the disc, as we see here. And if I remove the lid, you should be able to see that fairly clearly. So again, we see that black growth around the disc, that would be a positive oxidase test. If the bacterium is oxidase negative, like this Enterobacter orogenes, you'll notice that there is no black zone around the Taxo N disc. And if we remove the lid and take a closer look at that, you can see again that uh, there's no thick, heavy black growth around the zone. Now you might see a slight black colorization from water leaching out of the disc, but not the obvious black you see in an oxidase positive. So this would be an oxidase negative reaction.